Stevenson falls tonight to Dickinson, 11-10 in the nightcap, day one of the Mustang Classic. Glenn Clark with head coach Paul Cantabene. Coach, obviously it's it's tough to beat a uh, really good uh, top 20 opponent, but uh, probably a little bit tougher when um, you know you, you throw in some of your own unforced errors to uh, give them some extra chances. Yeah, I thought we threw it away a little bit. I thought we just panicked under the certain situations there, especially clearing the ball. We had the opportunities to get it up, and I thought we just made some poor choices. You know, we dropped some passes, you know, and uncharacteristically and did some other things that I thought really hurt us, and we kind of made the plays to lose the game instead of make the plays to win the game, and uh, I thought we deserved a better fate. But, you know, when you play a top 10, you know, I think they're number 11, a really good team like they are, and they play hard, and, and uh, you know, you got to make those plays. And we, uh, we didn't. And we, gave, we gave a left mark out the dry there in the end for those last couple goals. And, uh, which was a shame. Is it is it frustrating? You know, obviously their defense is just playing unbelievable all season long. Mm -hmm. Is it is it frustrating to to see them be left in spots like that because of turnovers, because of failed clears? Yeah, I mean it's, it's not. You know, we just got to do a better job. You know, the teams are ten man in us, and we're putting ourselves. You got to make tough plays, and we did for three quarters of the game. Again, it's just another thing. Just like against Denison, we had the chance to win the game and make the plays, and we didn't. And so, you know, got a lot of young kids out there trying to figure it out, and you know, we're playing five freshmen in there. And uh, but you know, I think Ryan's got to do a better job, and you know, and Mark kind of panicked a little bit. And but uh, you know, we just gotta you know do things better there to win the game. I thought we had a really good opportunity to get a good win there, and uh, unfortunately didn't work out we got to shoot the ball better uh, we missed some really good opportunities I thought there and uh, and um, you know we got to we just got to do a little bit better I give all the credit to Dickinson I thought coach Webster had them ready to go you know they didn't play the starting goalie was out I thought their goalie played really well and all the credit to them but uh, you know we got to we got to play a little bit better is it uh, is it a good thing to only have so long to uh, to sit on something like this? Well, I guess you know you get to go right at it again tomorrow. So you know against a uh, Franklin Marshall team that it's going to come out and play hard because you know they took a little bit of a beating. So we got to really get out there and play and and get after it. And you know we got to you know get our guys uh, home and off their feet and get ready for tomorrow. And, uh, and and with that, but you know it's another game. That's what's so good about the classic. You get to play again, and uh, we played a good team, and uh, you know things didn't go our way. But you know it was, a, it was a heck of a game and a heck of a day. I thought the weather was pretty good. The crowd was good. Everything but the result was all yeah. <laughs> right for today. All right, Coach, I know this isn't easy, but appreciate you coming up here, spending a couple yep. minutes with us. We'll talk again tomorrow, all right? Appreciate it. He's Coach Paul Cantabene. I'm Glenn Clark. This has been GoMustangSports.tv.